It died. Here. Let me get this right here. Let me get it. Let me get it. Uh. We're trying to document what's what's going on, so if uh, we can get that answer in a second here, that'd be great. I don't know how to do it. So, um, what's the process for visiting Almahassee? That? What what's the process for visiting Almahassee? The process is like anything else, but she has not been booked in. She does not have a pin number. If you get booked in, you get a pin number, right? You get the not used for the phone. If you're not booked in, we can't give you a pin number because you're not booked in. She refused to get booked in. Okay, so can okay. we visit Almahassee? What's that? So can we visit no. Almahassee? We cannot she's visit Almahassee. I just explained it to you. She's not booked in. She doesn't have a pin number. She refused to get booked in. What statute are you following? Is it a local okay, ordinance? What part? Oh, yeah. You're not booked in. You don't, you don't have a pin number. Can, can you tell me what part of the Constitution that, that would be stated in? Okay, I'm not here to debate with you guys. No, I'm this asking our, you a question. Okay, this is our booking process. Uh -huh. She is not booked in. Okay. Okay. She refused to get booked in. If you're not booked in, you don't have a PIN number. We, you can't talk on the phone service. So if you, if, you okay. don't have a, if you don't have a number, then you don't have any human rights at all? Okay, uh, did I say that? Okay. In, the phone system in the booking area or in the visitation area uh -huh. has to have a PIN number. Okay? So you don't talk one-on-one. -on -one. You don't talk one-on-one. -on -one. You, you have to use a phone. To a machine. So you Correct. can see her? What? Can you see her through that? Yeah, there, there, yeah there's, there's glass, there's glass there. there. Gotcha. Yes. So, so uh, is this a, 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 a Payup County rule? This is ruled through anywhere. You go to any, almost any facility. You're talking through. No, I'm uh, talking phone. about. I'm talking about if you go, don't get booked in, you don't get a pin number. Therefore, nobody can see her. I'm asking, is that a Payette County rule, or is that principally throughout? That's Idaho? throughout. That's throughout Idaho. Throughout Idaho. So most, uh, most Idaho people have. All the jails have the phone service, like in Telemate phone service. No, 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 we're not. Okay, I'm telling you, this is how it works. If you don't get booked in, you don't have a PIN number. You can't talk on the phones. Okay. You you can't right. make phone you can't make phone calls out. You can't get phone calls because you don't have a PIN number. My question. She refuses. Anybody who comes in to the sheriff's office or to the Pay County Jail or any jail has to have a PIN number. If you don't have a PIN number, you can't visit. Can you, I? You can't talk to each other. Can I ask you a question? So, is it a requirement from all jails in the state of Idaho that they have a PIN number? Okay, most jails that I know, yes. Other jails I can't speak for because I don't know how their system works. Is this a private jail? Okay. Is this a public jail? So, where, where are anyways, you again, so if you don't have a PIN number and you're not booked in, you can't use the phone service. You can't talk. You can look at her, but you can't talk to her. Okay. Unless you want to scream through the window, no, no, and that's no, not going to work. No, no, I, I, got, I got you. So basically, it's a logistic thing. The system doesn't allow you if you don't have a PIN number. But let's go back a step before that. In order to get a PIN number, Okay, what is you have to get booked in? Okay, so so okay. what is the procedures for the book getting booked in? You have to get booked in, fully booked, prints, the whole nine yards, photograph, everything. So so that's the procedures to get booked in. Then you get your pin number at the end of the booking, and then you can make phone calls. You can do whatever you need to do. So if you don't get booked in, if you refuse. I can't help you. We can't do nothing for you until you're ready to get booked in. So what what does that mean, getting booked in? Let's say... Uh, okay, getting booked in is just that. You have to get booked in. Have you ever been booked in jail before? Never. Okay, well... So I, I'm trying you to... You have to get booked in. Right, so what does that, what does it, what does that mean then? So I just you, told you. you, you okay. But, but, you're talking charges, you got to get booked in, photograph, fingerprints, everything else. Just she, like normal booking. Does she have to give her name? Yeah, you have to give your name, address, what happens, if she, what happens if she doesn't? Then we can't book her in. Okay. You don't so, get a PIN number. Okay. So just like I explained to you, okay. so you the don't issue get a is, PIN number. So the issue is, is that if she doesn't give her name, she's going to never be booked. Is that what you're telling me? If she refuses to get booked in. No, if she doesn't give her name. Okay. You're, you're, you're trying to read into things. Right. Okay. It's a simple process. You come in, you get booked in, you get a PIN number. That's how it works. So, Diane, okay. So, if you don't want to get booked in, then that's your problem. Then we try to get you. We talk to you. My staff is very good about talking to people. Hey, you get booked in, go to court, get it over with, get it done, and you're on your way. Right. I, I, I if they refuse it, then 
that's on them. I mean, what else can you do? You can't I, I, force them. I see, okay, there you go. My, right? my, that's my, simple. My that's question, very simple. My question again, and to clarify it. Okay, my question to you is, I've already explained it to you several, several times. That's how it works. Okay. Okay, I and just, you try to read into me okay. and read to what I'm trying to tell very you. Aggressive. It's not going to work that okay. way. I okay. just have one clarification. So in order to get booked in, an inmate or a potential uh, 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 violator is required to give their name. Correct. That's part of the booking. And if they don't give their name, then they are retained. Yeah, we can't book them in. Okay, that's what I needed to clarify. The next question is, is where in the local statute or the Idaho code that says that is the process and only process, and do they have an ability if somebody to book somebody if they don't give their name, such as a John De a Jane Doe? That's my question to you. So the two questions I'm asking is one. Okay, I've already explained it to you. The regulations. Okay, I've didn't already explained it to you. This is how the Payette County Jail works. I'm not going to go into it again because you're just trying to read into things. I, I don't know what else to tell you. She's refusing to get booked in. We're doing the best we can to get her to cooperate with us, to us to cooperate with her. We give her water. We give her everything we can give her.